Uh, the pandemic has uh, clearly tested the resilience and the agility of our companies and our societies, really. Um, and starting from limitations on travel, limitations on the production and the flow of goods imposed by the pandemic, um, really, uh, that has been an accelerator for remote connectivity, for digital transformation, following the theme of when you can't get what you want, you have to get better at using what you have. So if you can't get people to site when you have experts, for instance, who would normally need to travel there, when you can't deliver additional equipment uh, in terms of uh, augmenting your capacity, you have to get better at using what you have, which is your data and which is remote connectivity. So we've really seen a big increase in interest and actually also uptake uh, regarding the deployment of remotely delivered services. Peter, you, you noted a statistic that jumped out to me in, in the notes that you put together, and that is that industrial companies use less than 20% of the data they generate. That leaves a lot on the table when it comes to their own data and what this can mean and, and how this can help moving forward. What does it take to access and use that remaining 80%? Look, there's at least those 80% out there, and I think in many cases even more. And uh, what it takes is basically getting the data organized because very often the data is uh, in very diverse systems, often legacy systems, very different formats, not all of it ready for immediate consumption. So you also need to, in some sense, cleanse your data before you're using it. You have to contextualize the data before then combining it uh, with smart algorithms, with industrial analytics, with AI uh, to yield significant productivity potentials. And there's estimates depending on the sector of anywhere between 30, even 40% uh, productivity gains that are hidden in that unused data. Peter, I know that companies such as ABB look way beyond political cycles, as indeed do your customers as well. But I just kind of, seeing as this segment is called Our New Future as well, and we think we've just seen a, a seismic change potentially in the incumbent in the White House as well. How much do the political leaders uh, in these key constituents and demographics of your, how much does the change in political leadership influence at all the thinking and indeed the progress we're going to make and the acceleration of the progress in some of these trends? Look, I, I think when it comes to political situations, the role of uh, the politicians, the role of the state is to set consistent regulation to create predictability for industrial investments. So um, it's clearly for ourselves and for customers good if there's a consistent set of predictable routes that you can execute uh, against. Um, and that can be in environmental areas. This can be in data privacy and data security areas. So we clearly welcome uh, predictability.